Mary the Lion. Yes, the Obia woman. No, no, she's not the Obia woman. She sing about Obia. Sing about Obia. She sing about the Obia people and them. And then she sing about Prince Horror. She is the reigning Calypso monarch. And she's going to be the next reigning Calypso monarch. Because watch, in five days, it's going to be like, yeah. Yeah, so she's going to be the longest reigning Calypso monarch. <laughs> the COVID-19 Calypso monarch. Let me see her next picture. She likes to dress up, you know. She, she like real stack. Oh, geez, and ages. We only get this picture from... Terry! Now, all, some of y'all you know the side of Terry, yeah? I know the side of Terry very well. This is the soccer side of Terry. Because when all you see Terry on stage and she's singing, Dubai, la da dai, she not dressed so, but Terry, Terry has some clean, sexy, chocolate skin. All them fellas, I just talk to this boy, watch me. He's a sweet dark, you know. Well, I wouldn't know, but I just seen. Let me see the next bit here. Where we see? What they have? Who good? This is one of my favorite pictures from Terry. She looking like an African empress or queen or whatever you want, goddess, anything. You see that picture? Look at the girl's skin. I'm not, listen, no, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say nothing, but oh my gosh. Beyonce, that is how you should have looking that show, that thing. I am king. You see how she looking there? You look good too. I ain't bong in your Beyonce, but you see that? That is a trini. That is a trini. We Afro queen. On set. Joining me today. None of that. And my girl Terry. Terry. I real massage. Yeah, real massage. My body feeling better. Good to feel good. Good. Had a little tense in my neck and stuff. Your neck is okay. I feel more relaxed now. You you zenin? Do zen on my show. How are you going? I am fine. Oh, what COVID do with your girl? Um, other than put on weight, Every it turned me into a body. teacher. Um, I was never a baker. Um, so I learned how to make banana bread, I guess. You know, you but can I see only thing I love the baker. But you can buy that any store. <laughs> yeah, but when you have banana, so much satisfied. Yes. I said what no more um, said. Banana. Um, was it thing bread? Brian is make a banana thing. I can't remember the name of it. Best muffins and thing? No. It's a um Brian shout and tell me what is not you're right eh? What is <laughs> <laughs> Banana fritters. Brian is the boss of that. All my friends like to eat, but he will make it for you one of these days. Okay, good. Well, I just I just went to banana bread and then I went back to writing. I was like, no, the is bacon is not for me. I was African. Oh, he's great. He enjoying this COVID time with his he mom. He is yeah? great. Yes, he is. He is great. Getting taller. Mouth getting a lot fresher. <laughs> I know. I got a taste of it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. He's not easy. I asked him if he have a girlfriend. I thought he would have said, no. What? What is that? He said, yeah, well, you know. Listen. <laughs> He's not easy, you know. He's sweet. He yes, he I is. And he look like his grandfather. He look like you too. So maybe you look like your dad. Yeah, well, maybe you look like it. All right, now, because it's you, I had to write down questions because I didn't want to forget nothing. We might end up here just liming and yeah, talking yeah. like if you know, but I know the people want to know. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. If Carnival mm -hmm. was really a kingdom, right, you would have been born a princess because your father is a Carnival king, mm -hmm. right? Um, now, you're a queen because you were born a princess, but now we are queen. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like royalty growing up? Hell no. <laughs> I grew up love until block 22. But that is right up the road from by me. What? You see? Queen growing up. So we were right around the what corner. What queen you know that's toad bucket? And bathed <laughs> in the full, stand pipe. To fill the you barrel. You used to bathe in the rain? And I had to make trips to fill that barrel. You used to bathe in the rain? Of course, we had in to your, bathe in, in the rain. In your underwear, before you got boobs? In them time, you have no choice to bathe in the rain because that was I'm real good again though. water every day. That was real so good So you have though. to take it when you can get it. That was real good. You used yeah, to go in the bush though. and catch cock and then? You see that part? You never used to do that? <laughs> on my own day, boy. Yes, I right, was a little mind. too wild. <laughs> so you wasn't, you wasn't royalty growing up because you grew up very humble, humble beginnings. But what was it like being the daughter, one of the daughters of Super Blue, one of the children? I, I mean, Blue. for everybody else, it was like exciting. For me, um, I, don't, I didn't used to see my father that often. Because those days, the entertainers, they used to live outside. Abroad, they yeah. used to live abroad. For obvious you reasons know, that we know now. Right. So now... They used to just come during carnival, like three weeks or four mm. weeks before carnival. That's when all the entertainers will come back. They'll do the feds, kitchen, everybody. 
but I didn't used to, I used to hardly see him. That's why I said during, um, he used to stay up song basin. Mm -hmm. And for like the two, two weeks before Soka Monarch, or three weeks before Soka Monarch, we all will go down to some business and spend that time with him. And then as carnival done, everybody go back to the respective homes <laughs> and we wait till next chef year off, chef off. to see him again. No, but I actually think that was one of the first times I saw your father in real at Caribbean mm -hmm. Sound Basin. I think I was about 15 when we were now trying to get together with doing our R&B album. And I saw Super Blue and I was like, oh, that's not Super Blue. And I got, I got starstruck. I got starstruck. I know your mom has passed. Yeah. How has your relationship changed with your dad? No, I mm -hmm. mean, seeing him sporadically through the years back then, mm -hmm. obviously you would have been closer to your mom. So now that your mom is gone, mm -hmm. how has it changed with him now? But actually, my mom, when, even when she was alive, she always kept that close relationship with my dad. Because even when he comes back to Trinidad, and he, then he wouldn't come and look for me one time, she would pick up pack a bag and let's go look for your dad. Because somehow she always know how to find him. Right. Any crevice and hole, she know how to find him. She was the ways of Super Blue. She will find him. So I always had that close relationship with him, even though I didn't used to see him a lot. And them time, we didn't have no FaceTime, yes. phone, and cell phone right. where we could, you understand, his house phone. If you miss that call, if you're not home, that's it. Oh my God, I know. You I understand? Know. So I always had a close relationship with my father back then because no matter what my mom and my dad have been through, she always say, yo, when you see your father, you run to him like he give you a million dollars. Because yeah. what going on between both of us has, has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with you. Your, oh, your mother so like, she Why always keep, yeah, she always keep, even with the neighbor, my mom and the neighbor, <laughs> his fight, his cutlash <laughs> thing, come out. Yeah, but when we pass in, of course. we still have to tell that neighbor, good morning, good evening. Yeah. And she's standing up waiting to see if the neighbor will answer. <laughs> The other the neighbor half that says, like, good morning, Janice. Good morning, kids. She's like, oh, ho, I thought you wouldn't answer them. Your yeah, mom sounds like fun, you know, sounds like fun. Being a, um, a child of a product of, let's say, all right, a great mom, because your mom sounds mm -hmm. like a great mother. And we need some of those values instilled in our kids today. But also the child of a celebrity. Now, you have the best of both worlds. In a, in a, a era where children now are, Exposed to social media, mm -hmm. have plenty more privileges. Mm -hmm. It's hard to maintain that old school, old school way of yeah. teaching. Yeah. But also, your son is now growing up as a celebrity kid. Mm -hmm. Everybody know who Africa is. Mm -hmm. um, and then, your Terry son, oh gosh, he under a microscope. Yeah. Has that given you an advantage being a child like him once? Um, no. No? <laughs> it's still hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's still, as, he, as he's getting older and you know he thinks for himself now I mean I still in I still instill some of those values in him because my son if I t if I bring my son to your house and you put on the television for him after a while he will take it off and say can I go outside and play yeah because that's what I instill in him yeah up to this day, my son stuff. will drink tea without milk and sugar. He likes his garlic or ginger tea with no milk and Can sugar. Can you get that from you? He don't drink juice, really. That's your effect Everything on is him, water. Though. Yeah, that's, that's you alcohol. drinking those things for your vocals. You are one of the, the powerhouses of soaking so, the vocals. He always, you know, yes, he will be on the tablet, he will be on the phone, but after a while, yeah. he locks it off for himself. I don't even have to ask. I'll be like, why are you going to tablet him? Mm, hi, bud. You know what would be real fun, mama? What? You see, if we go outside, right? <laughs> <laughs> you see, if we go outside and get that air, it will be better. It's tricky already. As like Matthias, you want to go outside? Yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> All this setup. Yeah, but boys know how to, to do this to their mothers, eh? True, true. And, and I'm sure works. he has you around yes, his, his, works, his little finger works. already. It works, it works. I must say it works. Yes, I get trapped every time. That's, all right. that's my king. That's your baby. That's your king. That's what yes. we're talking about. Did you always think you was going to be like a, a soca star like your dad or you wanted to be something else growing up? No, I didn't think I would have been a soca star because I started off singing R&B and, you know, jazz because yeah. I like jazz. I believe, yeah, because plenty of people like to say that and they can't sing to save their life. But you can sing. <laughs> you can sing. So I believe you, yes, Terry. My mom used to have me doing your a lot of jazz. Yeah, she used to sing with Brother Resistance and she did all those oh. background. The same background vocals I'd yeah. be doing, she used to do that with all the entertainers, spectacular. She's had background in spectacular and so forth. Yeah. 
You plan on defending this ground in a year? Yes, man. You have After songs already? Long, so, of course. I figure. I've released one called Calypso, and I still have others to release if so happen a uh, competition. Although this one was for competition, I said, but by the end of the day, I'm an artist. I can't just sit back and not release anything. Yeah. You know, I don't write for competition. But but, but this is competition music you're talking about. What about Soka? Because you're, you're both. Of you're, you're course. Both. I release. We release. I release um, produced by DJ Private Ryan. Um, it's called Can't Take My Joy. I performed it last night at PES. Um, and I also have Wine on All, which was produced by GBM and written by Full Blown Entertainment. Okay. So, yeah, once I release them for Calypso, I always release for Soka. Once I release for Soka, I always release for Calypso. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But since I have you in that seat, right, I'm going to ask. That is the hot seat. It just got red. You can't see it. Right? You can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Here are my questions. You ready? Mm -hmm. Don't look so worried now. Well, the last questions I, I answered was yesterday for my son, little prompt you test. As get frightened for Don't question. get frightened. I have you. Don't worry, yourself. <laughs> Number one. How long do you think you would survive as, in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> one day. Why? <laughs> one day. You ever watch Walking Dead? Yeah, I might kill myself. No, girl. I tell you never see how much show and just cut it? Yo, <laughs> that's too much I'm running. Less eating. <laughs> No water. And we know you like your I food. I will dead. I will kill myself. We know you like your food. I'm telling like you. your food. I'm telling He's you. He's a foodie. Just yes, like I me. Am. Two are we in the same boat. All right. What is the weirdest conversation you've ever overheard? Oh, of myself. What do you mean? I was at a friend in Enterprise, and she was sitting there with a friend of hers. And it seems like that person, you know, associate with certain people in the entertainment business. You know those people who are on the outskirts, yeah. but... They talk like if they're in it, yeah, but yeah. they're not in it. Right. It's because they have a friend of the friend of the friend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they watch it from out the door and be like, yeah, I was lying with them. And she was actually talking. Mommy, she's like, Terry, I find she's stuck up. I find she's so bad. I'm sitting right there. And I joined in. I was like, serious? Hmm? I saw them as boy. It's like, yeah. yeah. I saw she dumb so and so. Because let me tell her something. You see, when I'm home, I just look like an LV group. Uh, what? I just look like a good vagrant. Yeah. I don't care. I will have that one. is not true, Terry. I will have Terry, one. Terry, hey, on your word hey, day, you cannot look like a vagrant. I will have one some polka dot tights, uh. purple polka dot tights, <laughs> with some pink stripes, <laughs> my head tie, a hat on top of that, my strap bag, and I go in the grocery. So she ain't recognize you. So my tin of corn beef. So she ain't recognize who I was, because no makeup, no eyelashes, nothing. And I slip on my foot. And I didn't think my nails was done anyway. You understand me? So you know the toes must be was looking like Kumar by that time. <laughs> so she is going on about me while I'm sitting there and my friend and I just get she I, I forget. Now people need to understand things like that don't really affect me, eh? Eyes are real backside. You can so, say that, that's yeah, right. I can say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> backside, backside, yeah. backside. Hey, backside, backside. <laughs> we say it backside. Okay, good, good. So <laughs> My friend is get, digging her horrors, and I was like, mm. that was like enjoyable for me. She, so she's telling her friend that, yeah, I just be around them. I just always go down there and lime and thing. And <clears throat> yeah, she feels she's stuck up and thing. That whole family feel the day. That's how they is, girl. Okay. When you see if you was wrong, you will get to see. And so one of these days, I'll carry on. Wow. And after the lime and stuff, I just get up and I told my, um, my friend, I say, I'll go in there. I'll go and do our rehearsals. For well, sure. So she was like, what are you going to say? I said, yeah. Like, who's, who's name? Was it? Terry, Terry Lyons. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that happened to me already. I, I was to like, and I walk off. Yeah. She looked green. Yeah. Yeah. I tell and you. feel stupid. She didn't have nothing to say after that. All right. Let me see what else I have here. Oh, well, that really was weird and true. What is the last dream that you could remember having? Oh, gosh. I don't remember my dreams enough. No? No. I don't remember my dreams. I, oh, I swear, you know, I always remember my dreams when it actually happened. Like deja vu. Like a deja vu. Yeah. All right. that is fair what enough. I fair enough. Fair enough. What's the worst advice you've ever received? Um, oh gosh. This Trinidad is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because everybody and the mother. Everybody wanted to tell you something. Oh, when I was pregnant with uh -huh. my son. Uh -huh. Don't wear black. <laughs> Why? So I was like. 
Well, I have a serious problem, you know, because I born G5. <laughs> So there's no way I could get away oh my God. from not wearing black. What you the why? Superstition. Don't wear black. Um, and um, what? Don't eat too much of fish. And I was like, well, I, I guess I do all the wrong things while I'm pregnant. Don't eat too much of fish. I was like, what's yours? Don't okay. eat pineapple. I'm a Libra. Oh, well, yeah, well, they don't listen to nothing. No. People could tell you a million things. They say, okay, and you're going to do the same <laughs> thing anyway. Well, My they're son is a Libra oh, too. Oh, God. I'm the 23rd, he's well, the 26. Well, you're in faith, but you know yourself. So, <laughs> try, look out for it. Look out for it. All right, last question. What's the craziest prank you've ever played on somebody? You don't look like a prank, though. No, I, I like to, I like to talk to you. I like to be funny and stuff you know like you can this. say that word we just say but it's all right <laughs> oh yeah, yeah but that's okay we, we are so comfortable in this seat there eh? i swear on the corner you know that's right <laughs> no, 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 no. but that's okay that is okay <laughs> and i'm putting it on instagram too but anyway <laughs> no but what like you know a prank never really pull a prank on anybody you know no but thanks for the idea i think it would be good and I think you should post it and, and, and tag me. And I say, I give her the idea and I'm going to repost it. I might be proud of you. <laughs> nah, don't, don't, don't come up, don't come around me with that. Eh? No, I don't know. But listen, all the feel we have time for one game, I know it's the time running out. I just be looking up there like if it's Jesus, I'm talking I to. want to know. <laughs> I think the screens up there. They don't send me, so we go play. All right, Terry, here what we're doing. This my, uh, if you look behind the board, you see a word, you know you had to play a little game. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the name of Fats. There's two, What's but the I feel we could only do it? one. Oh God, we need some not kind everything of... is free. Not everything is not need, to get money we for. We need some kind of incentive. You yeah. just win money last year. All in done yet. Calm and down. the year going and I make it. <laughs> so it's done in. <laughs> All right, I will go first. So these are the names of Fats, but we only have time to do one each, right? Okay. I have to draw mm -hmm. and make you guess the name of the fat. You ready? Please tell me I could draw. I can't really draw, but hard luck. You just won't guess. So then why are I playing the game with you? And I guess I should show these people. Oh, God. I hate to draw this way. Don't All right. Start bad All right. Ready. <laughs> All right. Ready? Oh, then get my little thing. Ping. Right. Ping. There you go. Oh, good. No, no, no. See, I see. No. QRC. What I look like? No, that's, that's something. What I look like? I'm yeah. monster. I don't know. <laughs> what it look like? Like fire? Yes, 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 yes. Say it, say it again. Fire fest? Yes, fire fest. Your turn, your turn. That your fire? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Somebody asks you. Yeah? It is not an art major. Go ahead. All right. All right, there we go. Ready? All right, ready. Well, you. What the hell is that? Um, oh, good. Daddy will? Shucks, what is that? It's a fet. Blocko? Oh, shucks. Um, there's a square that you're shading. I don't know. I oh. give up. <sighs> I give up. I give up. <laughs> People fat. Mm -mm. Girl fat. Mm -mm. Girl on the field fat. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Watch what he have on. Watch what she dressed. Fatima? Mm-mm. Um, I really give up. No, I can't draw it. And I think time up. <laughs> Wait it. Boy, that my camouflage. That, that is camouflage. Show the people that one more time. No man, Terry. That is what? camouflage. What's that camouflage. Camo that that look camo like... Nah, man. <laughs> hey, that is the camo. You could tell. All right, all right. Take window because you got it and I didn't. <laughs> I want you to give the people your tags and your horrible artist. But <laughs> give the people your tags. My tags, Terry Lyons82. That's across the board. That's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Terry Lyons official for my YouTube channel. There we go. Terry, I want to thank you, my love, thank for you. joining us. And you had to come back, eh? Yes. Because I have so much we didn't talk about that I want to touch on, but not the back no and all aspect of things. Mm -hmm. We're always going to keep it positive. You keep shining. I love your afro. That, thank keep that, you. Keep your afro going. And good luck thank in the you. next year when you're done become the longest Calypso monarch <laughs> in history. 
All right? We love you, darling. By the default. Yes. No, no, no. Not by default. By the grace of but, the oh, yeah, Almighty. Okay, by the grace. Oh, yeah? I will take that. <laughs> Ole, we have been talking to yeah. the Calypso monarch. Longest ever. Terry <laughs> Lyons, the daughter of Super Blue. She is royalty. She's a queen. Go on, Mako. She paid. She has plenty other pictures than I post.